now we've got um, as our next speaker uh, Hussein Jawad Parviz, who is the president of the European Bahraini Organization of Human Rights, uh, who was in fact a political prisoner himself very recently. Dear attendees and human rights organizations, dear Lord of February, I send you special greetings and peace from the Bahraini people whom you stood entirely with for many years. I, Hussein Jawad, chairman of the European Bahraini Organization for Human Rights, a Bahraini human rights defender and the former detainee who was just released on bail a month ago after being arrested on charges of insulting the king and inciting hatred against the regime and still is pending trial. Because of a speech I gave in Manama in a ceremony of Ashura. In my speech, I called on the values of human rights and the principles of non-violence. My father is an activist too, Muhammad Hassan Jawad Parwiz, serving 15 years of imprisonment and is the eldest prisoner in Bahrain, aged 67 years old. My father is a famous victim of torture. He was deadly tortured because of his participation in the peaceful revolution that was quickly attacked by force carried out by the tyrannical regime, which took repression away to survival and failed to achieve the demands of the pro-democracy citizens. I was in a prison and documented and monitored the gross violations of human rights against prisoners. Cases I documented are 841 cases of victims of various forms of violations. I will mention some of them out of respect for the time. Activist Qasim Baddah, the uncle of martyr, child Ali Baddah, was arrested from his work. I saw him in the dry dock prison and documented his condition where he was barely able to stand on his feet because of the serve, uh, or, or because of the severe torture he suffered in the criminal Inve investigation directorate CID he told me that he was stripped naked for 3 days sexually harassed and forced to, to sign involuntarily on confessions that he did not know about he now, fa he now faces trials in a court that lacks the most basic standards of justice and human rights. Citizen Sayyid Mahdi Sayyid Bakr Al-Buri, who was with me in the same cell, faces nine false cases after he was arrested by the security forces in a very brutal way, and then torture, which, which caused him broken ribs and teeth and dissolution, in the hand to the use of electricity and being hanged from the ceiling in order to admit compulsory on his friends so they are to become targeted and arrested. Said Mahdi is still prevented from medical treatment. Child Sad Sadiq Ja'far Marhoun, who is an, a student at a school, was in solitary confinement in our cell. He was tortured in the detention center and shackled with iron cuffs, even when asleep in his cell. He was prevented from most basic rights like contact with his family and his lawyer for days, subjected to ill treatment in the public prosecution, where the public prosecutor treated with torture if he requests a lawyer. These samples are some of what is witnessed during the 46 days of my detention. It's only 1% of what us really going on in Bahrain. We are here today, not just to talk about human rights violations in Bahrain, but in order to review new strategies and try to make every effort to stop all kinds of oppression practice uh, against people of Bahrain, including the targeting and arresting of bloggers, human rights defenders, women and, ch and children. We hope all politicians in the world, and specifically 
and the United Kingdom to stop this double standard strategy or else they will lose their credibility in front of the international community where we must not forget, forget that people will victorious in the end and oppressive regimes and dictatorship will only drown. Thank you all for listening. Thank you very much. Now, now we do have a short time for a discussion. So if anybody would... Oh, there's, there's a film, film first.